my name is Lauren, and here with Alyssa Pritchett. Hi, Lauren. And we're at FYB Jewelry, that's shop F7 at the Holiday Shops with Brian Park. So my first question is, what does FYB stand for? FYB is our company acting for all your bliss. Uh, the unique spelling is meant to inspire conversation and inspire others to, you know, ask what it means and ever see the quote to follow your bliss. So Alyssa, can you just tell us a little bit more about how FYB got started and kind of what inspired you to start your own jewelry line? Sure. So I guess my whole life I've always been really infatuated with jewelry. Um, when I was a little girl, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother because I was with my parents for the whole time. And a lot of our playtime together was going through our jewelry boxes and trying it on. So I guess from my toddler days, I've always like been really fascinated by and intrigued by jewelry. It was kind of magical to me going to grandma's house and try on all her jewels. Can you tell us a little bit more about the FYD look and kind of what kind of girl wears the FYD line? Sure. So I call the line subtly bold. It's a fusion of delicate meets older chunky pieces, a lot of natural stones, bright colors vintage trinkets, anything from lockets to keys, anything that I really find inspiration from all of these together. Uh, the FYB girl is feminine and preppy. She must be polished, but she's also a little chic. Um, she's also earthy and free spirited and she appreciates uniqueness and individuality. One of my favorite things in the shop that we have is our arm candy bar. Um, these are all hand beaded with vintage crystal and polished glass and the colors are just amazing. Um, one of the most one of my favorite things to do is to kind of stack on a million. I'll always be wearing at least eight at a time. And you know, you can get as creative as you want with it, combining different colors, and customers love coming in and creating their own stack. It's a really personal gift, as well as a gift for yourself. Uh, this is actually your first season at Bryant Park. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, how's it going so far? What have you learned? Really well. I mean, having this little shop is like a dream. It's like having a mini flagship store, so getting that chance the opportunity to see what it would be like to have a retail store is amazing. Being able to create an environment that really expresses what our brand is all about um, has been truly amazing. And getting to meet customers face to face, um, getting to see like what the popular trends are, what products are the most popular, and definitely just getting to see everyone and help them try things on, play dress up. It's really rewarding and quite incredible. So definitely learned a lot through being here so far and excited to see where this business takes us. So, Alyssa does more than just this jewelry. She also has a charity line of bracelets that go to benefit spinal cord injury patients in Haiti. And we're both wearing some. Uh, Alyssa, can you tell us more about this program? Yeah, so actually, before I started making the jewelry, um, before I even launched the line, I got involved my junior year with a nonprofit group called Students for Haiti at the time, which is a student group after the St. John Bear. And joining that club really inspired me in a lot of ways to want to do more than my own, be more active and do things bigger than myself. So I thought, why not create something different, trendy, that would, you know, raise money and awareness. So bracelets were my first thought. And I thought, why not do something different than just the traditional, you know, like rubber bracelets and do something kind of different. So I chose fabric as um, the design. So senior year, I started selling these on campus. Um, we raised $1,300 from them in just a couple of months. So now I'm partnering with St. Boniface. We're working on an employment project with spinal cord injury patients down there. One of the biggest issues is recently them back to the community. A lot of them were injured after the earthquake in 2010. So we thought that the bracelet project, or having them make them there and then selling them here, would be a great way to you know, pay them on a fair wage and kind of create this dynamic employment project. Yeah. So. Thank you so much for having us. Of course. Us. Um, if you guys want to find out more about FYB, you can visit the shop at F7, that's the Holiday Shops at Bryant Park. You can check out the website, which is fybdesigns.com. Great, thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Bye.